this video we will discuss about the TGF beta cytokine that has a dual role in the tumor cells. So what are the dual roles, uh, dual roles of this TGF beta in the tumor cells? The first role is the is during the early stage of the any early stage of the initiation of this uh, tumor cells. So during that time, the uh, role of TGF beta is to inhibit the tumor cell progression and trigger apoptosis of those cells. However, in during the later stage of the uh, pancreatic cells, the TGF beta has a completely different role. Uh, that is, it acts as a uh, pro tumorogenic factors. That is, it will, uh, for example, it will promote it will promote the metastasis of the cells at the same time uh, it will promote the agents in the uh, tumor micro environment uh, that will help in su uh, suppression of this immune response so let us understand how this uh, tgf beta gets activated in the uh, system so this G latent tgf beta is bound with this uh, LAP and this can activate it by two uh, two ways first one is the proteases of this uh, uh, LAP uh, protein that leads to this uh, TGF beta that leads to the this latent TGF beta to get free and uh, interact with the cell surface membrane and uh, uh, another way by which this TGF beta can be activated is with the help of integrin interaction so that this tgf beta interact with the integrin and that helps in uh, activation of this tgf beta and we can see that this uh, tgf beta has the n glycosylation sites that can be seen uh, in the uh, panel a so now let us understand how this tgf beta uh, helps in intracellular signaling so this is uh, t this is the receptors for uh, to which TGF beta can bind. First one is this uh, T beta R1 and T beta R2. So this uh, TGF beta, what it does is it interacts. It helps in uh, the interaction of this TGF beta R2 and TGF beta R1, as it can can be seen in this figure, in the panel B and the left side figure. And this interaction helps in the phosphorylation of this both of this T beta R2 and T beta R1. And that will triggers uh, that will trigger the activation of this SMAT two and three, and the phosphorylation of this uh, SMAT two and three that leads to heterodimer heterodimeric bond formation, heterodimeric uh, interaction with this SMAT four, and this uh, complex will then go into the nucleus and promote the genes that are related uh, to this TGF beta factors, and during the initial and the genes. That are related to this TGF beta factors are uh, are designed or are uh, to prevent or are to prevent this tumorigenic uh, cell growth formation or uh, in other words we can say it will promote uh, apoptosis of the cells at the time when uh, the cell experience some kind of tumorigenic uh, tumorigenic uh, symptoms however what happens during the later stage of the uh, cancer is that there is a mutation in this SMAD4 uh, gene occurs because of this this signaling pathway get uh, disrupted and this will lead to a signaling pathway in a way that that will promote this pro tumorigenic factors such as metastasis of the cells uh, by uh, one of the way why it, it can promote metastasis is that it will this the disruption of this uh, disruption of the uh, disruption of the receptors or in other terms we can say disruption in the glycosylation profile that leads to over silation of the receptors that interact with the uh, immune cells so thereby uh, these uh, those receptors get shielded by the uh, over silated glycan structures and that helps in uh, that helps in immunosuppression or prevents the immune cells to detect the uh, antigen receptors it prevents the immune cells to interact with the receptors present on the tumor cells so these are uh, some 
ways by which TGF beta act as both as a uh, uh, tumor suppression and also the tumor promoter. If you need to understand more about this TGF beta dual role, you can in tumor cells you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description. That's all for this video. Thank you for your time.